This is a chat on uh, conduction and my experience working through uh, using the phasia as a conductive pathway, this stretch through the body. There's a, a strong relationship between this stretch and building vital and astral energy. And the more of that energy that you build, the more of a stretch occurs. This stretch can be manufactured through actually actively stretching, you know, stretching open the palms, stretching open the spine, but also as you fill with that energy, a type of stretch will occur. And the uh, intensity that of that stretch can vary depending on uh, what energetic substance you're saturated with. Now, what I've been finding is that while this connective tissue, this facial stretch, is a really good conductor, there's something that's far more effective um, and that is, uh, conducts instantly, uh, by principle even. And that is letting go of that attachment to a, a stretch in the phasia for conductivity and instead uh, opening up the akasha. And uh, from the perspective of the akasha as being virtually all, all of the stuff, <laughs> it's everything and all of the nothing, um, timeless and spaceless, the, <laughs> the cleanest and shortest distance between two points is not necessarily the straight line that you would find through conducting more coarse uh, energies closer to the physical, but the <laughs> fastest distance between two points, or the uh, <laughs> yeah, fastest way to get between two points, rather than travel a straight line or a circle or something of that variety, is to already be there. The shortest distance between two points is to already be there. So this is the Akasha, timeless and spaceless. And so that I find that working with the Akasha as a type of conductive pathway leads to super clean uh, movement of energy and it's a, a totally different experience. So all of these things have a lot of merit uh, when you're working with them and you want to explore everything because different substrates will teach you different mechanisms. Cultivating the phasia is a great way to generate energy through the phasia. Using it as a conductive pathway is a great way to work it. But then as you keep refining more and more and more, um, there's a point where we always have to let go of what it was that we were working with in order to move on to something else. So explore all of it, have fun with all of it, and uh, see what you enjoy working with, what kind of lessons pop out for you. All right, thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye.